Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to the Great War Western Front, our Let's Play series playing as the Central Powers, and this is episode number 25 of that series. Uh, this is a new game by Petroglyph Games, uh, which has both strategic and tactical elements in World War I on the Western Front. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our offensive in the north of France slash Belgium, and we will be attacking Dunkirk. So in our last episode, we took Epra, uh, which was a major victory for us in pushing the front back toward the British Channel ports, or uh, not the British, but the French Channel ports, where all the British and uh, Empire forces arrive onto the continent. And uh, we are now going to try and take Dunkirk next. And if we take Dunkirk, then we will begin to move toward Calais. I'm hoping that this is the decisive campaign of the war, that we knock the British out at the conclusion of the campaign, uh, but we'll see. In any event, it should help prevent further uh, empire reinforcements from arriving on the continent, so that as the Americans begin to sort of ramp up their support for the war, the empire isn't sending any major reinforcements in 1918. It is September of 1917 right now, and we are going to jump right back into this. This is taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel. So without further ado, let's jump back in. Probably maximizes my chance. Also, I'm curious what this little icon here is. I don't know if like the British have Marines, if they have a Marine unit, but that looks different. So let's go ahead and fight at Dunkirk. The game claims stalemate, but let's show them. Let's show them what's what. You should never use money to buy global supply. You should just buy plane divisions since that supply never goes away. So infantry and all units carry their own supply with them. Aviation is probably a, th those units carry a, a good chunk. I don't know that spending for aviation is always a good, a good option. Also like, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't spent a ton on aviation, but. I'm not a big min-maxer in games. I usually play for more exper for experience more so than for, uh, like, what's the most optimal way to play? All right, so this is interesting. This is the first battlefield I've seen where No Man's Land has a river or a stream through it, as far as I can recall. Um, the enemy has three positions, A, B, and C in this one. They are further forward relative to No Man's Land. So that's also kind of interesting. There's a lot of forest area. Actually, our, flank, our, our troops, like, I don't know why this anyone thinks this would be a good tactical decision is have your trenches end the start of a forest. Not with the flank open. B looks like it could be vulnerable from the flank. C is on the edge of the map. I think C is where our initial attack will focus. Um, let's just hope the enemy doesn't launch one against us. I'm not putting anyone in this trench. I'm deleting that trench. There, we'll do that. Also, let's upgrade these these forward trenches in case the enemy does come at us with tanks. I'm not going to upgrade all my trenches, but the the very front lines, which probably will deal with the bulk of the enemy tanks if they do arrive all right we are also going to get a bunch of supply if we do at least three days of uh, siege bombardment so we're going to do four i don't know that it's really all that valuable uh, again especially in a map like this that's not super built up it may not be but if we can take out some mg nests or whatnot it could like if they take out just a couple of mg nests it very quickly becomes worth it Oops. get rid of one of those Gonna do some grenadier troops. Verstärkung bereit. Wir sind eingetroffen und warten auf Befehle. Okay. German Grenadiers. Bereit für Befehle. Wir kommen wohl zu spät zur Party. All right. So that's gonna be our main attacking force, I think, right here. Melde mich zum Dienst. Uh, additionally, let's go ahead and just throw some conscript troops across the front of the rest of the line. They're not good soldiers, but they will hold. 
All right. So there. Let's go ahead and build some artillery. What's the best? Actually, this is the best place to put the artillery here because it looks like A, B, and C are all in range. We'll put them behind this wood line with the light, light guns. Command trench is less so, but I, I, I get the feeling if we if we take A, B, and C, the command trenches may not be a primary concern. We'll move these guys over just slightly so they can probably rolling barrage the command trenches, at least. And then we will do two heavy battalions. Put barbed wire for these troops that are coming out of the wood line. Because this is a weak spot if the enemy attacks through there. And we will put just a handful of MGs here, just in case, again, to protect the uh, artillery. Okay, so I think that does it from the defenses perspective. We've already done the siege bombardment, ready for that. We're going to hit C first. We do need to buy some tanks, actually, now that I think about it. So let's pull... Some of these troops out. Can tanks cross rivers in this? I don't know the answer to that. Blitzkrieg Offensive. We have six tanks. We also have bombers. Do we want to do a, a balloon just to see what the enemy has? The problem with the balloon is I think if I do a balloon, it will trigger the enemy to attack me. But if they're going to attack me, I'm okay with them attacking me here. So let's do this. Let's see what the, this balloon can actually see a lot. So I'm going to do that. Let's start the battle and see. The enemy may launch a concerted attack against my balloon. They tend to do that. Raise the balloon. Siege bombardment underway. All right, basic firing trench destroyed. Comms trench. There's the artillery. Curious if I can destroy these guys. Usually, artillery versus artillery is very bad in this game, but let's see. There's another battery back here. Balloon over here. Not much in the way of guns, though, as far as we can tell. Right flank does have some machine guns and trench mortars. Almost as if they know where we're stacking up against, but the other flanks do not. We actually destroyed half the uh, battery with that barrage. Interestingly enough, as exposed as it is, we could probably finish it off with infantry. I don't think any of their defenses are in range of it. Let's go ahead and pound these uh, MGs before we move forward. Light artillery seems best against enemy MGs, actually, which is strange, but... This is Dunkirk, Hauser. They're gonna bombard me. Wow, they're focusing a lot of arty against me. He does not shoot. Are you suppressed? Get out of the... Right, there you go. This is a light battery, by the way. So they'll finish that battery off. We'll finish the MG nest off already. Right there. Right 
All right, we're just picking them off. So we got the light field artillery. What about the other machine gun? Yeah, the one up here. Good call out. I'm using a, a fair... Oh god, they're shelling the hell out of those troops. I'm using a fair bit of artillery up here. And also taking a fair bit of time. Get it. <laughs> Literally, it took one more shell. Right, that MG nest will just have to leave, I think. I mean, I can hit it, but... So the enemy obviously knows where I'm going, right? Let's also do this. One other thing we need to do is take out their balloon. Then we'll get going here. I've already used a considerable amount of time up. I could do balloon busting with my aviation too. Actually, we've never used bombers before. Let's go ahead and use those. I just want to see, are they good? I think they're decent against artillery. Although that's an expensive use of them. All right, the balloon is gone. We'll just watch our bombers come in. I just want to watch them. We've never used them before. Are we going to drop any bombs? Just fly past it? Oh, there we go. Hey, can uh, bombers do recon? Anyway, they didn't seem to do much damage. Can't see the explosions in any event. But we did pick up another machine or er, nest of of. I don't know what you want to call it. Troops, nest of tanks uh, or artillery or whatever. All right, move them there. We have new befehle. The, the the tanks or the bombers sure seem to be dropping rubber ducks. I would believe it. Achtung! Okay. Neue Befehle gehen ein. All right, we are going to move. Let's get everybody going. This is going to be a full-scale assault right off the bat. Tanks, troops, everything. Let's overrun these guys. Not give them a chance. I'm kind of surprised how low the enemy supply is over here on the right. I, I don't know what's changed, but it doesn't seem like, despite the fact that they have 11 cores, that they are deploying the resources they should. And again, it makes me wonder if all of these attacks that we've launched have so disrupted their finances that they can't support much. Alright, enemy artillery is certainly coming in. That first wave of grenadiers is not faring well. Okay, we are into the trench. Uh, some of you guys are not in the trench. Hey guys, why are you sitting there? Move 
move up. Get out of the uh, arty. Oh god, that's a lot of arty. We're gonna have to micromanage these tanks so they don't get hit by enemy uh, arty, aren't we? Gordon here. Oh fuck, we lost a tank? What even hit it? That's the first tank I've lost in this war for what it's worth. It dove right into an arty, arty circle. Okay. Come on, boys. I need to call more troops in. We've lost a considerable amount. Okay. All right, so we are taking the objective. Let's push forward with the armor. Is anybody still on the objective, though? All right, pause here real quick. We've got this unit of troops getting that trench. All right, we've got all those reinforcements coming up. And now we want to go deal with the enemy artillery out here as well as push these troops through to move west. But I think we'll have to wait for the... Uh, all those guys. Oh god. Tank, don't don't go there. Not all by yourself. Actually if you wanna you wanna halt. You're doing good work on that enemy uh infantry battalion here without taking any damage. Right, now you're taking damage. Get out of there! We took we took C. Troops are moving up. We're gonna use smoke. I don't know if suppression bombardments do anything to artillery. Okay. Yeah, get out of there. Wir haben neue Befehle. An die Linie. Warten auf Befehle. Okay. Take out that enemy windmill. What? Sorry. What? What? artillery suppress the enemy Oof. get out of that enemy artillery bombardment oh god flamethrowers lots of fire fire all right they're dead up to the left I was pretty sloppy in this particular attack. I left a lot of troops out in the open. 
took unnecessary casualties. Let's go hit these enemy artillery pieces so they can stop destroying my tanks. That's a lot of enemy artillery up this way. Come on, boys. Finish that artillery off. Alright, heavy field artillery destroyed. British raiders retreated. Flamethrowers. Are they good versus tanks? Hopefully we don't find out. Boys are moving up. Large enemy reinforcements are coming out. So we took C. Air bomb. Those air bursts are pretty devastating, I will say. Nice if those cannons reloaded a little faster on those tanks. I'm just gonna sit out in the open. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Lol. The last stand of the Belgian army. Or so it would seem. Alright, we got another artillery unit. The enemy's artillery is taking a beating. And another one bites the dust. This armor up this way. Move these troops into this wood line. We're taking B, so our clock is paused. Oh shit! Are they what are they doing down here? Hey, we're gonna use a little bit of gas. Gas, gas, gas! Did I, are these already? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna drop two gas bombardments down here. That should at least mess with their morale, even if it won't kill a bunch of them. Oh, these tanks are trying to drive through the forest. Don't do that. That seems like a bad strategy. Ah, flamethrowers on the defensive. Oh, wow. The flamethrowers actually work on the defensive pretty well. Kind of didn't expect that. I figured they were just a offensive tactic. Not everybody going in the same trench. There's a trench line back here you can go. Too. All right, so these guys are all dying because I'm just charging across no man's land willy-nilly. All right, so we took B. We're pressing in on the command trench at this point. Trying to cram all of our troops into one trench. But the enemy is melting. The second they get in these trenches... These uh, tanks are just firing down their lines. A lot of enemy units are coming up here. They're spawning here. Uh, 
I don't want these tanks just sitting totally out here without support. I mean, it's nice to have these mobile machine guns, but... Can you guys... They're gonna spawn on you, so how about you drop down on the enemy before they can get in too close and use grenades? That's danger close. Oh my god. This is brutal. Just like literally execution. <laughs> We've pushed back their forces. They can't have many more. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would think that would be the case. Our reserves are coming up. We have seven minutes left. The main concern is timing here. Look at all these troops up here. They're just waiting. Here, I think. Oh my God! Are they all charging in now? Hey guys. Are they just running forward? I, I don't understand this. Right. Get in the trenches. I guess you can sit there and shoot at them too. How many troops did they have? They're just all dying. Oh, we will pause the clock when we start taking the command trench. I'm hoping they don't really have anything left to push down on us with, like once we take the command trench. Look at all that death. So much death. Right, that MG. Oh, they're coming from this direction too. The last stand of the British Army, it would seem. They don't have any artillery left, I don't think, which is helping. The main question is if we can overwhelm the numbers that they have before time runs out. All right, let's send these guys into the command post. I don't think they have any more reserves to call in. It seems like they've stopped. So let's go ahead and send these tanks down here. To deal with the enemy attack that's coming up this direction. We're attacking the command post, so the clock has stopped. Oh, there are some French troops that look like they're reinforcements coming on here. Why are they not grenading this machine gun nest? Clock has stopped. Reserves are coming up. Go assault A. Enemy MG nest is taken. Push down through the trenches here. There are still a few enemy units that are getting called up. I love how you just obliterate 
machine gun nest when you have tanks. I love it when you have tanks. Less so when you don't. Oh my god. That's kind of a lot of troops. Alright, a lot of my troops are pretty worn down, which is unfortunate, but we gotta get them moving down through these trenches to get toward A. Pull one out of the command trench. Let's also attack from this direction with the troops that we have here. All the enemies suppressed. And hit them from two sides. Even though their conscripts can kind of suck. It's at least a distraction. We're going all in, boys. Frontal attack is getting chewed up. We can go ahead and suppress him again, though. Come on, boys! For the Kaiser! Alright, the command trench is now ours. Forwards, hit them from two sides, yeah? Oh, uh, that mortar is a problem. Got it. Okay. I think we got it, boys. I'm pretty confident. We might be losing men at an alarming rate. That's okay. The Kaiser has more. Into the trench. Stop their guns. I don't know what I don't know what accent that was, but What are some of my favorite World War One films that aren't documentaries? I haven't seen a lot of World War One films, to be honest. I know it's an old, old, and it's a TV movie, so the quality isn't that great. But maybe um, Lost Battalions, decent. I haven't watched the new uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. I think I saw like the 1970s one or whatever way back when. If, uh, pa isn't Paths of Glory with like Kirk Douglas? That's supposed to be a classic, although I haven't watched that in a long, long time. I haven't actually seen 1997 or uh, 19. I haven't actually seen 1917. I don't know if that's any good. All right, sweep. So the first attack at Dunkirk was a success, victory, and we reduced the star from three to two. Blue Max. Oh, there was a there was a really bad, and I don't necessarily mean the movie was bad. I don't really remember the movie, but the CGI was bad. Wasn't there like a um a somewhat recent, like in the last decade, uh dog fighting movie? Okay, so we spent thirteen hundred gold. We lost one heavy tank. We lost 7,000 infantry-ish. 
Um, the enemy lost 13,000 infantry. Uh, yeah, and 20 artillery pieces. Dear God. That is a... That's a slaughter, boys. They also lost 2,500 gold. We did spend 1,300 gold. I mean, that was a chunk of gold. I don't know if we'll be able to attack again this turn. Yeah, the Flyboys movie. I forget what it's called. There was a... You know... <laughs> Didn't it have, um, wasn't there like, like he's known for more of like a comedian, like more of a comedian. I forget what his name was. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Great War Western Front. A little bit on the, sh on the shorter end of uh, episodes for us, uh, but our next one's a bit longer and uh, I just, this was the only natural stopping point. So uh, we got off to a good start in our offensives at Dunkirk. Armor is proving decisive once again. And we'll see how things play out in our next episode if we're able to overrun uh, the port or if uh, we run into any setbacks. But until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.